the universe continues to expand more and more. Scientists discovered in 1929 that our bodies are composed of chemicals that originated in the cores of stars. By 1957, we realize that the sky is not only a beautiful thing to behold, but it also demonstrates the enormous power of the universe. There is a lot going on in the cosmos, and in most cases, we have no idea what's happening. We keep wondering why we exist, why there are planets and stars, and what other possible destinies might have been. We frequently do not pay attention to problems until they become critical, even if they will eventually affect us. Betelgeuse, one of the largest stars in the firmament, has begun to show signs of instability, shaking violently and alarmingly, which could indicate that something frightening is happening. The star has been the subject of study because of its enormous size. In fact, it is so enormous that it makes our sun seem tiny in comparison. It is not a star like other stars, and has never been. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant, which is much farther away than it appears from Earth, more than 640 light years away. Although this distance may not initially appear significant, in cosmic terms, it is immense. Even if we could travel at the Yao, speed of light, it would take more than 640 years to reach it, something impossible with current technology. In normal circumstances, it would take us over 12 million years to complete such a long journey, which is much longer than the entire history of humanity. We can get a sense of the magnitude and strength of the star, which has been shaking violently for some time. Despite the fact that, from our perspective, stars appear quiet, they are in fact not quiet, regardless of their size. Scientists do not yet fully understand the signals Betelgeuse emits. It has been labeled a pulsating star for a considerable amount of time, and its cycles of brightness change range from 10 to hundreds of days, depending on whether it is expanding or contracting. These gradual changes show us how dynamic this star is. Another interesting thing about Betelgeuse is that its brightness varies considerably, ranging in magnitude from 0.5 to 1.6, which is a significant distinction among stars. These varying levels of brightness occur in cycles. The shortest cycle is approximately 185 days, while the longest cycle is 2,135 days. Occasionally, these changes occur more frequently and can be quantified accurately. In February 2021, the U-V-band magnitude of 1.614 was one of the lowest values recorded in recent years, deviating from Betelgeuse's usual brightness. Not only is its brightness remarkable, but also its intense red color, resulting from its surface temperature of about 3,500 Kelvin, which is a great deal less than the sun's 5,500 Kelvin. Despite the sun's small size compared to Betelgeuse, the latter emits less energy per square foot because of its lower temperature, which makes it appear less luminous. Although one of the largest known stars, Betelgeuse has been relatively stable, despite being a pulsating giant. Nonetheless, it has recently transitioned from a state of calm to one that is more unstable, which is worrying. This is because the gas shell of Betelgeuse is burning. It will eventually run out of hydrogen at its core, where it becomes helium through the fusion process, which is normal for a red supergiant. As hydrogen fusion in the core slows down, the outer layers of the star expand, causing it to grow in size. During this phase, helium builds up around the core, which is now mostly hydrogen, and the fusion process known as helium burning begins. In this process, helium atoms fuse to form heavier elements, such as oxygen and carbon, releasing energy that combats the effort made by gravity to compress the outer shells. However, helium combustion is less stable than the fusion of hydrogen in the core, leading to accumulations of energy that are released irregularly. These kinetic releases can destabilize the star's structure which causes the outer layers to expand and contract, resulting in pulsations that alter the color of the giant over time. These pulsations release enormous amounts of energy, generating strong, stellar winds that remove a significant amount of mass from the outer layers of the star, a phenomenon typical of red supergiants like Betelgeuse. The effects of these stellar winds cause stars to lose mass, which alters the distribution of energy and matter within them 
further affecting their evolution. As the outer layers of the star expand as it grows and contract as it shrinks, a constant pulse is generated, one that we perceive as changes in its brightness, similar to the beating of a heart. To better understand these phenomena, astronomers use a wide range of methods. The most significant of these are photometry and spectroscopy. Photometry measures the amount of light emitted by the star at various times, enabling us to observe its brightness fluctuations, as is the case with Betelgeuse, whose pulsations provide us with clues about what is happening inside it. This method provides a direct connection with the behavior of the star, facilitating the monitoring of its luminous variations. In contrast, spectroscopy examines the star's light at different wavelengths, revealing important information about its temperature and motion. When Betelgeuse pulsates, its spectral lines change, allowing us to learn more about the processes behind these pulsations. Scientists can use these methods in combination to build a complete picture of stellar behavior, combining information from brightness analysis with that from internal structure. Astrophysicists go further by using powerful computers to create models that simulate how the star works. From the equations that regulate its nuclear structure and fluid dynamics at its core, these models allow for the prediction of how the star's pulsations change as internal conditions vary, connecting theory with observed data. A fascinating process that occurs inside stars like Betelgeuse is stellar convection. Energy generated in the core moves toward the surface, helping to balance internal processes with the star's external brightness. As hot substances in the core rise and cooler matter descends, Convection currents form and move energy to the uppermost layers. The result of this motion of matter is luminosity. When the energy reaches the surface, the star appears brighter. These changes in energy flow, caused by convection currents, are responsible for the variations in brightness that we observe as pulsations. The amount of energy moving within the star fluctuates, which explains the periodic alterations in its luminosity. In addition, these pulsations are not just random fluctuations, but can follow regular patterns, particularly in stars like Betelgeuse, which are categorized as variable stars. The recurrent bursts of light are connected to the rhythmic expansion and contraction of the star's outer layers. The star's surface cools and dims as it expands, while it heats up and brightens during contraction. This process is the result of complex interactions between gravity and radiation pressure. Gravity pulls matter inward, while pressure from the radiation emitted by the core pushes outward. The result of these opposing forces is a delicate balance, leading to the star's periodic expansion and contraction. Over time, this cycle can cause the star to become noticeably more or less bright from Earth's perspective. Betelgeuse, nearing the end of its life cycle as a red supergiant, exhibits these convective, pulsating behaviors more intensely. As the star depletes its nuclear fuel, it will ultimately go through a supernova explosion that marks the end of its life. In the meantime, the pulsations caused by stellar convection continue to influence its luminosity, offering astronomers valuable insights into the internal dynamics of massive stars. Let me know what you think in the comment box. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and like, 